Hey everyone, it's Stephen here and welcome to a quick fragrance video. I meant to post this video yesterday and record it, but I was just lazy and didn't bother. So a quick channel update. I have, I have, I have way too many fragrance samples. I got so many 5ml and 10ml decants that it's just getting ridiculous. So I've decided now August is sample month only. I'm not wearing any bottles. None at all. So what I'll be doing is going to be giving quick channel updates and saying what I've been wearing that that preceding week, or the week gone by rather. So here's the starting week of August, up until today, which is the 8th. So what I've been wearing, first up is Gucci Guilty Absolute and Dior's Eau Sauvage 2017. I've done videos on both of these, so I'm not going to go into any details about them. Both are fantastic scents, really, really strong releases from this year. I was kindly sent this, which is Davidoff's Agar Blend. This is quite nice, it reminds me somewhat of YSL's Noble Leather. It seemed to be quite... I don't know, it wasn't that oody from what I can tell. I wore it once and I did enjoy it. I thought it was of decent quality. But it wasn't like a very strong oody smell, but it was quite classy. I enjoyed what was there. The projection was okay, the longevity was nothing to complain about. And yeah, it was a decent smell overall. I was also sent this as well, which is Lalique's Encre Noir Extreme. I'm not too fast on the original Encre Noir, but I absolutely loved the sport version. And I was very tempted to blind by this, but I thought I'd kind of wisely seek out a sample first. And I'm glad that I did, because it's a nice smell, but it doesn't really wow me as much as, say, Encre Noir Sport. Considering it's called Extreme, it doesn't seem that strong in comparison to that one. Encre, Encre Noir Sport just, like, absolutely radiates off my skin. It is probably one of my strongest fragrances, to be honest. And in comparison, this one is just nowhere near the same level. So I'm going to kind of use this up and I'll actually decide if I want a full bottle, but at this rate, I'm kind of glad I didn't blind by that. Fellow British reviewer Gaz, he sent me this a while ago, which is Green Irish Tweed by Creed. I wore this go shopping. It was a bit too strong, I think, and I could kind of smell myself projecting too heavily as I was kind of walking about. But luckily it was, late, it was late at night and not many people were in the supermarket. Fantastic scent. Every time I wear it, I'm like, wow. It just it amazes me. And it's really strong too. I remember I put it on, came down my stairs and kind of stopped suddenly. And then just kind of bam, my like CR just kind of caught up with me and I just kind of got smashed in the face with the smell. And it was just like, whoa. Absolutely fantastic scent. I love this so much. I'm very tempted to seek out the full bottle of this just because... It's bloody amazing. So Black Afghano by Narsamato. I've covered this a couple of times and talked about it. Phenomenal. I've worn this a few times now since I owned the sample. You can tell it's going down a little bit. I actually layered this with Queers by Carna Barcelona. And I used up my sample of that. But it wasn't much to actually give it a single full wearing. So I had to kind of top it up with this because they are similar fragrances. And yeah, Black Afghano. I've said quite a bit about this in the past. Love it. Don't think I'll ever buy a full bottle of this. It's kind of too pricey. So I've got a first impressions video of this in the making, but I haven't actually followed up on it. It's Oud Espahan by Dio. I own Perfume Parlor's Roll On Oil copy of this, and that's amazing, so maybe you want to try the original one. And it's probably one of the nicest, and just one of the best fragrances I've ever worn. I actually wore this to work today. And sort of, I put on like half past eight in the morning, come four o'clock in the afternoon, I could still sort of smell it really heavily. Absolutely gorgeous scent. Recently bought this, which is Haitian Vedra by Zegna. It's quite nice, I wouldn't think it's worth a price tag. It definitely does seem to be of good quality, but comparing it, comparing it to something like Encre Noir Sport, I don't know, I just don't think it fully justifies the price tag that it carries. I think 125 mil is it's about 150 pounds retail, which is kind of crazy to be honest. So I went in on a split with this, which is Hubajant Fuji Royal. When I first tested this by spraying my hand and smelling it, I was not kind of impressed at all. In fact, I was like, "Ugh, what the hell is that?" I thought it was very nasty to say the least. And yeah, I kind of tested it again, and the second time I tested it, I actually gave it away. Bam, a different fragrance altogether. I was just kind of stunned by the difference. 
it's a kind of well like i said it's a fuji you know head in a lavender i don't really think they're like lavender as a note but it's definitely working in this and it's not intolerable lavender can be hit or miss maybe i'm just not fond of cheaperish lavenders this is a kind of expensive fragrance and you can feel the quality in there and yeah it just radiates off my skin as well really really do like this one i was tempted to buy a bottle recently but i didn't want to buy it <laughs> i've been wearing zerjoff's 1861 so this was pretty much full when i bought it and yeah 1861 renaissance this oh, this is an absolutely outstanding fragrance you get a very high quality bergamot and citrus citric notes there's mint in there it just seems to kind of really jump off my skin and the kind of cloud of the scent bubble that, re that it leaves around me is just unbelievable i find i think this is a really high quality fragrance and it's probably one of the best citrus smells i've ever smelled not that i smell many and many of the high quality ones People do say Neo is better, but this is mind-blowing. Really high quality as well. Like, any time I wear it and go to work, as I kind of leave in the house and turning around to, to lock my door, I kind of turn around and kind of waft a bit of fragrance in the air, and as I just kind of catch whiffs of it, I'm just like, ah, oh, it's just amazing. Phenomenal scent. I could potentially see myself buying a full bottle of that in the future. So... I wore this at work last week, is Leather Oud by Dior. People would say it's not a work scent, you know, not an office friendly scent, especially in summer, but the weather's been not very humid over here, we haven't had much sun, and I just don't care, you know, I'll wear what I want. I recently resigned from my job, and I think I wore this to actually resign. I kind of thought it was a quite suiting fragrance, it was a kind of like fuck you thing, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Again, I really like that. It's very appealing in the old school powerhouse type of fragrance it is. The leather, the oud, the castorium and the civet. Just oh, really, really good. I wore this once, which is Rose de, Ra de Arabi, Arabi by Armani Pre-Vaseline. It's okay, it's comparable to a Zerjoff's More Than Word, which I have a small decant of somewhere here. And yeah, you know, it, the thing is I haven't really like, I've worn it around the house so I haven't tested it outside and like given it a proper wearing. When I'm in the house I'm kind of just sitting around so I don't really get a chance to see how fragrances project because I'm not really moving around too much. But I do, I do like it, you know, it's a really nice oud and rose combination. I just need to test it and actually wear it a few times now to get a better feel for it. Davidoff, Davidoff, Davidoff's Leather Blend. This is really nice. It's got saffron in there and it's kind of sweet. If I don't like sweet fragrances pretty much, but this is tol tolerable. Not too sweet in my opinion. The leather is noticeable. I do have a feeling that I'm kind of, I can't smell leather very well, especially in fragrances. But I wouldn't really call it a leather scent, <laughs> to be absolutely honest. I mean, I think that's how bad my kind of detection of the, of the smell is. Uh, yeah, I do like this one. It's long lasting as well, and the more I wear it, the more I kind of am falling for it. It's really nice. And finally, I've worn Queer Canage by Dior. So, this is kind of feminine, in my opinion. It's quite dusty and smells old. But non, not in an unpleasant way. I think there's iris and ulan ulan. Ulan ulan. Yeah, it's okay. Like, it just, it's not really my cup of tea. I, you know, it's going to be hard to finish this. I got so many samples here that it's going to just be awkward to actually finish all these, you know. This is one week's wearings. I'm trying to actually mix it up now and actually wear different stuff throughout the, throughout the month. But I think that's going to be quite hard. Well, sorry, I got, I got enough frag fragrances to do that, but, you know, I'm just kind of wearing stuff that I probably shouldn't be wearing in terms of si situations, like, you know, wearing leather out to work. But, um, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, here's all my other samples, just kind of chilling out. I bought these ones from one cell on eBay. Nope, sorry, these are ones I've kind of done myself, or kind of crappier ones, like a few of moths, or things I've sold on and taken decants of. I bought most of these from one cell on eBay. I think a 
couple of Atelier Colognes out there. These is my these. These are my niche stuff in here. Got sent some more stuff recently, like something. Old Imperial by Pierre or something like that. Paris something something. Yep, so that's the end of fragrance sampling week one. Three more weeks of sample wearings until the end of August. Hopefully you're looking to make a big dent in my sample collection. I've bought way too many since my last fragrance sample videos. Probably like double the, the amount that I own now, which is getting ridiculous. And I think a lot, of a lot are evaporating away. So some samples that I've owned for a year, they're kind of like just, they've dwindled down to like droplets left. And I definitely didn't fully use them all up. There was much more left in them. And every time I open up my fragrance cupboard, there's a massive smell just from where I keep my samples. I can't actually identify a particular fragrance, but it's just like an amalgamation of 20 cents. So I think there's some heavy evaporation going on there. So, you know, I've kind of invested quite a bit of money in these, so I don't want them all to just waste away without me really getting proper wearings. So that's the purpose of this month. So I'll see you in another video soon and watch out for part two where I'll be doing this kind of again. Woohoo! <laughs> Laters.